We're ready. Okay, so today we have low, lower body and core. We're going to do a format that we did at some point last week or the week before. We're going to do a single side exercise for 30 seconds on each side, then we're going to do one full minute of a different exercise. So first one, you're going to grab your dumbbells. We have curtsies in a plank with a tap out. So you're going to grab your weights for 30 seconds. You're going to hold them right at your shoulders, just like this to get that core working. You're gonna curtsy down and up for 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other side. Then we're gonna come down into a high plank and you're just gonna tap out, tap out, just like that. If you wanna jump, you can. If you wanna do plank jacks, go for it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start right off. In three, two, one, let's go. One side, 30 seconds down and up. Try to get that knee as low as you can. Push up through that heel or tight. My weights are freezing. They're in my car overnight. <laughs> They're cold to hold. Four, three, two, other side switch. Right into it, pushing up through that heel. We're doing four rounds. Less than 10. Four, three, two, come on down. High plank with a tap out. Right and left. Keep your abs nice and tight. Thirty seconds to go. Fifteen. Five, four, three. Two, one, right back up for your curtsies. I don't know if this was the one, but one that we did like a week ago. Felt like I was going to puke after. It might have been this format that we used. So, I hope you're ready. Five seconds, we're gonna to switch to the other side. Three, two, one, switch. Come on. 15 seconds, we're bringing it back down. Four, three, two, one. Back down to that high plank with the tap out. If you need a modification for this, you can come down to your forearms and drop your knees to the floor. I'm gonna show you right here. And then you're just gonna tap out, bring it in, tap out, bring it in. And if all else fails, you just hold that plank, right? And when you do these, take your time. You wanna lock your core in as you pick that leg up off the floor and move it out to the side. You wanna feel that oblique, so the outside of your abs, stabilizing you, okay? 20 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, bring it up. Back to your curtsies. Mm. 
nice and low. Bring it down, bring it up. Three, two, one, switch to the other side. Fifteen left. Three, two, one, bring it back down to that high plank. Tap out, bring it in. Thirty seconds. Fifteen to go. Keep those abs tight. Last five, four, three. Two, one more round, bring it up. Curtsies. Keep that chest up, shoulders back, stand up nice and tall. Three. Two, other side, switch. Bring it down, bring it up. Five seconds, we're bringing it down into that plank one more time. Three, two, one, bring it down, high plank, tap out. Thirty seconds. Stay with it. Just breathe. Last ten. Four, three, two, rest. All right, we are warm. Next one is all core. So you can put those dumbbells aside. We're gonna do a side plank hold, and I'm gonna give you some options too if you don't wanna just hold it. So actually, hold on, let me grab my, here it is. Okay, so we're gonna do a side plank hold. 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. And then we're gonna go into a double crunch. So for your double crunch, you're gonna come onto your back. Everything starts in, you start crunched up, extend out, crunch it in, out and in, just like that, okay? For your side plank, if you want to dip your hip, you can. If you wanna do any kind of fancy thing, Feel free. I think I'm just gonna hold. We'll see how it goes. I might change it up throughout the exercise. All right, here we go. Four, three, 
two side plank, hold it up. 30 seconds here. So with your side plank, you want to squeeze your butt nice and tight to bring those hips forward. And you want to kind of pop that chest forward too. So you're nice in a nice straight line. And then you want to act like somebody has a string and they're pulling your hip up. Hold it tight. Breathe, breathe. Five, four, three, two, other side switch. Elbows right under your shoulder, squeeze up. Again, you can float that other leg up to make it harder. You can tap that hip down and up if you want to. Squeeze everything, make it tight, make it active. Four, three, two, double crunch, one minute. So we're bringing it all in and out. To make this more difficult, when you come out, those legs are nice and low to the floor. To make it a little bit easier, those legs come up. Crunch everything in, send it out. Fifteen seconds, we're going back to that side plank. Four, three, two, side plank. If you need to modify these, you can always cross that top leg over for a little more support. Or my favorite way to do it is drop that bottom leg like a kickstand and just hold it up. Hold it, hold it, 15 seconds. Pair strength here, no momentum. Get those hips up nice and high. Stay with it. Three, two, one, switch. Pop up. You guys can just roll to the other side. I don't wanna show you my back. I don't wanna put my back to you. Squeeze and lift, lift. Five, four, three, two, double crunch. Bring everything in, everything out. Thirty seconds to go. If this gets to be too much, you can work just that upper body with some crunches, or you can take those legs in and push them out. Make it work for you. Keep them tight. You have ten seconds. We're going back to those side planks. Three, two. One side plank, pop up. Another one of my favorite side plank variations, if you have a lighter weight, you can bring it down and up with that top arm. As that weight comes down, you're gonna feel your abs kick in right there. 10 to go, we're gonna switch to the other side. Four, three, two, Switch right into it, move as quickly as you can, or just roll right through to the other side. Hold it tight, lift those hips up a little bit higher, squeeze your abs and your butt a little bit tighter. Hold it. Five, four, three, 
two, one, back to that double crunch, second to last round. Bring everything in, everything out. I kind of love to try before we are, but I think we have 30 more seconds. <laughs> We're just gonna keep going. 30 seconds to go. Stay with it, then we have one more round. Five seconds, three, two, one, side plank. One more time through. Elbow is right under your shoulder. Feet are straight out in front of you. Whoops, here we go. Lift those hips up, hold it. Again, to modify, drop that bottom leg down and lift those hips up. And here, if you want to, you can float that leg up too to get a little outer glute work. Four, three, two, switch. Last time. We're going back to those legs. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, bring it down, double crunch, bring everything in and out. Last 30 or last minute here. Ten seconds, you got it. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, we're gonna give those abs a little break. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> I just trying to read my writing. I couldn't figure out what our next exercise was. All right, so for our alternating exercise, we're gonna do lunge pulses. You can hold a weight, two weights, one weight, whatever, or no weights. So that's your option here. So all we're gonna do is step one leg back, far back behind you, and we're just gonna pulse for 30 seconds on one side, and then we're gonna pulse 30 seconds on the other side. For our core exercise, we're gonna come back down to the floor for one minute. You're gonna grab a dumbbell, you're gonna hold it, just a little, like angle it back just a little bit. So it's not like way far back here, but just enough to anchor your upper body down. So when you bring that weight back, you want to feel your core kick in a little bit. And then all we're going to do from here is push out right and left. And again, taking your time with this. So it's not about how fast you can go. That's great if you can go fast, but you're also going to start to use your legs and your hip flexors. We really want to get the core here. So anchor that upper body down. We're gonna press out and in, out and in. If you wanna make this harder, legs come closer to the floor. If you wanna make it easier, legs go up. 
a little bit, okay? And you're gonna bring that weight back just a touch. So, four rounds. We're gonna pulse out those legs. Here we go. In four, three, two, pulse right here. Pulse, pulse. Pushing up through that front heel. When you're doing your lunges, you wanna to try to keep that knee right over your ankle. If it travels forward a little bit, that's okay. Just make sure it feels good for you. Pulse it out. Keep that chest tall. God, this burns. <laughs> the first round. Four, three, two, switch. Pulse it out. Right through that heel. You want to feel your glutes. Ooh. You might be losing these dumbbells on that second round. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Bring it down, weighted dead bug. So bring that weight back, press out, and in. This is the exercise. If you have lower back issues, like a lot of lower back pain, and you want to strengthen your core, this is one of the best ones to do. Breathe, breathe. And if you don't like holding onto the dumbbell, you can also place it down on the floor behind you and just let it anchor you down. Just pull up on it a little bit. Five, four, three, two, bring it up. Pulse out those lunges. Pulse, pulse. My legs still haven't fully recovered from our workout on Wednesday. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, switch. Pulse, pulse. Whew. Five, four, three, two, weighted dead bug. You go right into it. So you can either hold that weight back behind you or leave it on the floor, whatever feels best for you. As that leg comes out, you exhale. As it comes back in, you inhale. Five seconds. Come on up, pulse it out. Pulse, pulse. I skipped 30 seconds tonight, that's okay. We'll make up for it later. Four, three, two, switch sides. Pulse it out. Get nice and low. 
Pulse, pulse. Five, four, three, two, dead bug on the floor. I promise we're gonna stay down for a minute this time. <laughs> Bring it back. Thirty seconds to go. Keep breathing. Ooh, don't let that dumbbell travel forward. I just did. Keep it angled back. Ten seconds to go. We're coming back up one more time. Three, two, one. Bring it up. Pulse it out. If you don't like these pulses, you can do regular lunges. Do whatever works for you. We have all legs in the next circuit. <laughs> Three, two, one, switch. Get low, get low, drive that knee down. Ooh, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, on the floor for your dead bug, last time. Last minute here. Thirty seconds to go. Ten seconds. Get that dumbbell back a little bit further. Push your abs in a little bit more. Three, two, one. Bring it up. Nice job. All right. Our next one. We have split stance deadlifts. Thirty seconds on the right. Thirty seconds on the left. And then we're going to squat it out right to left. So for your split stance deadlift, you're going to bring one foot forward. Up on the toes on that back leg. So that back leg, you're nice and light on the toes. There's not a lot of weight back there at all. Slight bend in that front knee, and you're just gonna travel down and squeeze up. So again, this is a variation of that single leg deadlift, which I love, but a lot of times people aren't really getting it. They're twisting and all that. So by planting that back leg down, you can really get your hips back and feel that nice stretch in the back of your legs. Then when you come up, you're pushing up through that heel and squeezing. So we're gonna go 30 seconds on the right, then we're just gonna switch those feet out. For the side squat, you're gonna hold the weights right at your chest, just goblet squat style, starting with those feet together, and we're gonna squat out right, squat out left, okay, for one minute there. Here we go, let me just start the timer. In four, three, two, split stance deadlift. Let's go right into it. Push those hips back behind you like somebody has a rope around your waist, or around your hips, and they're pulling your butt back. Ten. 
10 seconds to go. We're gonna to switch to the other side. Keep that back flat, do not round forward. In three, two, switch. Bring it down, bring it up. Squeeze up. Five seconds to go. We're going to go into those squat outs. Three, two, one. Let's go right to left. Or not right to left. Whatever. Yeah, right to left. Get low. Push up through your heels. Squeeze up, squeeze up. Thirty seconds to go. Again, you can do these without weight as well. Get low. Ten seconds. Three, two. One single leg deadlift. That clock. The clock is haunting my videos. <laughs> Light on that back foot. You want like 90% of your weight in that front foot. Three, two, switch. Feeling that stretch in your hamstring in the back of your legs. And then squeeze it up. Three. Two, one, side squat. Let's go. Thirty seconds left. Nice and low. Ten seconds. We're going to go back to your split stance deadlifts. Three, two. One, right into it. Bring it down and up. Different option here. So if it's bothering your back to keep those weights in front, bring them to the side. Same thing. Keep those shoulders pulled back. Five, four, three, Two, switch, down, squeeze up. Fifteen to go. Five, four, three, two, side squats.
seconds. One more round after this. 10 to go. Five, four, three, two, split stance deadlift. One more time through. Bring it down, bring it up. Big squeeze at the top. Four, three, two, switch sides. Fifteen. Pushing up through your heel. Five, four, three, two, side squat. Last set. One minute. Thirty to go. Thirty seconds. <laughs> Ten to go. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, next one, we're bringing it down to the floor. So our 30-30, we're gonna do glute bridges. So we're gonna lift and lower for 30 seconds. Then we're just gonna hold it for 30 seconds. Really getting into the glutes. And then for our minute exercise, we're gonna do a seated twist and press. So you're gonna grab a dumbbell or not. It's up to you if you wanna use one. You're gonna lean back just a little bit. You're gonna twist, push up, twist, push up. And take your time with those. They don't have to be fast. Let me take this off. Jingle jangling. They don't have to be fast, right? And if those start to hurt your lower back or they start to hurt your legs, just sit up nice and tall and give yourself that twist. Give yourself that nice rotation, okay? Here we go. We're gonna start in five, four, three, Two, loop bridges, bring it up and down. You can put a weight on your hip if you want to. You can lift. lift and lower, squeeze up and down. You guys can still see me, right? Remember, when you come down, you're never fully resting. You're keeping those hips up just a little bit. Three, two, hold it up for 30 seconds. Squeeze tight. Thank you. Can't tease. Can I show you how to rest? Mom. Oh, she can't hear me. Can I can't see my tummy bar. Stay there. 10 seconds. Push through your heels. Squeeze up as tight as you can. If it helps, lift up those toes. Three, two, one, twist and press. We have a minute here, so take your time. You're gonna twist, push up. Big push. Let yourself rotate, use your abs. You wanna feel those kicking in. Again, you do not need weight to do this. 
You can just come down, push up. Big twist, big press. Feet can be on the floor, feet can be up, whatever works for you. 10 seconds, we're going back to those bridges. Lifting and lowering. In five, four, three, two, lift and lower. Put that weight right on your lap, squeeze up and down. Push right through those heels, squeeze as tight as you can. Five seconds, hold it up, 30 seconds here. Keep your abs tight, you wanna push through those heels and squeeze your butt, squeeze those butt cheeks as hard as you can. You got it. You can always lose that weight too. Hold it. No momentum here, this is just pure strength. Five, four, three, two, one, twist and press. One minute. Candy, show you the side plank version. <laughs> you are, you're doing such a good job. Thirty seconds to go. Ten seconds. We're going back to those bridges for our third set. Big push. Three, two, one. Back to your bridges. Up and down. Squeeze up. Again, if it helps you to pick your toes up off the floor so you can really push into your heels here, do that. Squeeze up. Four, three, two, hold it. 30 seconds. Breathe through it. Lift a little bit higher. 10 seconds, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, twist and press. One minute. Ooh. Stay with it, five seconds. Will you take a picture of this? <laughs> 30 seconds, keep it up. Big twist, big press. We have one more round after this. Twist, push. <laughs> 10 to go, one more round. Three, two, one, glue bridges. Last time, the butt is like twitching. It's done. We have one more uh, circuit after this. Lift and lower. Sorry, I'm boring. <laughs> no, my workout's boring, Candy. 
Hold it up, 30 seconds. Push through those heels, squeeze your glutes as hard as you can for these last 30 seconds here. You got it, hold it. Squeeze, squeeze. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, twist and press. Last time. Twist it up. Big push. Keep those abs tight as that weight comes back down to your chest. You can ask them. Yeah, he does. 30 seconds to go here. Twist. Big push. You got it. Remember to breathe. Exhale as that dumbbell comes up. Inhale as it comes back down. Twist. Push. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. All right, we're going to do one more. So we have dumbbell swings. No, no, no. No, I'm going to change it. We are going to do dumbbell swings. <laughs> But we're going to do a push press on the right and on the left, 30 seconds and 30 seconds. So you're going to grab one heavy dumbbell. You're going to push up as many times as you can in 30 seconds. From there, we're going to go into one minute of dumbbell swings. This is a very long time to swing, okay? So if you start feeling your lower back or if it just doesn't feel good for you, do a few swings. And then you can either come into a regular deadlift, a two leg deadlift, or you can bring that dumbbell right to your chest. It's gonna be attached to your chest and you're gonna stick your hips back for a nice little, those are called good mornings. Good morning, right? Okay, so push press right, push press left, 30, 30. One minute of swings, we're gonna go through three times or four times and then we are done. Here we go. Three, two, one, push it up, big press. When you're doing these, keep your abs nice and tight, make sure you're not collapsing in. You want to keep that core super, super tight. Big push. Ten to go. Four, three, two, one, switch sides, 30 seconds. You might notice one side really wants to dip down more than the other. For me, it's my left side. Push. Ten to go. We're going to go into those swings. If you don't want to swing, you're going to deadlift in four, three, Two, one. So if you have two dumbbells, I should have said this in the beginning, I'm sorry. You're gonna come right outside those legs, keeping your stance very narrow. If you have one dumbbell, you can bring it right between and come up. Or if you have a kettlebell, use your kettlebell. We're here for one minute. You want to keep that swing tight. So when you're coming down in your swing, you're not dropping those weights below your knees. They stay right by your hips the entire exercise. If you have one and you're bringing it through your legs, you want to keep that as tight to your inner thigh as you can. Like if you feel like you're going to hit yourself in the butt on the way back, that's how you know you're doing it right. Three, two, one, push press. Right up. Look in. Oh. Candy's crying because the cat's in her window seat and she can't get to her. 
She's whining because of Addie. Five, four, three, two, switch sides. Big push. Bringing that dumbbell right down to your shoulder, popping it up. You can use your legs here. That's the push press. Ten to go. Three, two, one, dumbbell swings. Right through and up. Keep it tight. Back flat. Halfway there, one minute to go. Remember, your option is your deadlift. Stay tight. Squeeze at the top. 10 to go. Five, four, three, two, push press. Ooh. You want to use a weight if you have it, then after like eight to 10 reps, you really got to kind of use a little push to get it up, make it heavy. Five, four, Three, two, one, switch. Big push. <clears throat> Ten to go. Three, two, one, right into your swing. Second to last set. Here we go. Sitting back in your heels, squeeze at the top. 30 to go. Ten left. Three, two, one, last time. This is it. Last two minutes and we're done. Ten. Three, two, switch, big push. Four. Three, two, one, dumbbell swing, last time, last minute. Deadlifts are always your option here. 
Hike it back, squeeze it up. Thirty seconds to go. This is it. Then we are done. Ooh, this is our longest one yet. Last fifteen. Let's go. Three, two, one. Very done. Nice job. That's it. Grab some water. You can stretch it out. So we're back tomorrow for our last Sunday workout. Uh, I think we have core. We'll do like a core and upper body just to change it up a little bit um, at nine. And then moving forward for April, we're going to do workouts Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at nine. So we're just going to do three days a week. And the plan is to do all total body workouts so that it's like a workout program instead of just like doing random workouts that whatever I feel like doing. We're going to make it like a, um, a program. So three times a week in April, well, starting Monday. So then, I mean, I know there's like 100,000 fitness offerings out there right now. So you can sprinkle some other things in too. So that's the plan going forward. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a fantastic Saturday and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye. Bye, Deb.